Welcome. We are the BEAS rover team from the TU Berlin, cooperating with the Institute of Space Engineering. And come on in, we want to show you what we do at our university with rovers. This year marks our third participation in the European Rover Challenge, which will be held in Krakow for the first time. Our team consists of approximately 35 students forming an international and diverse group passionate about this project. For us, the Rover Challenge is an invaluable opportunity to apply the engineering skills we've acquired during our studies, which are often theoretical. Given the size of our team, we have structured our project into several segments project management, systems engineering, and specific team leads for each rover subsystem. These team leads serve as points of contact between their respective subsystem members and the overall project management, ensuring seamless communication and coordination. This year, we are placing a special emphasis on learning from our past experiences, really narrowing down what is important and focusing on the task at hand. As a result, our rover platform is already operational, and we are now moving forward with the implementation of all the payloads. See, we have a long heritage with us already in the background, with our institute and students working on different systems. And here you can see uh, the current status of our rover and the people are working on it, uh, doing some last minute fixes of the software and electrical, so we can later uh, do the driving and can show you in the video. We also have another laboratory. That students are currently working on parts of the robotic arm and on cut designs. Um, in this laboratory we also have 3D printers uh, that we can use and print our own parts, as well as a soldering station where we can do uh, soldering of electrical components. Hello everyone, my name is Anshu Mehra and I'm part of the mechanical team of the robotic arm. My motivation to go for the rover challenge is to have a hands-on experience on actually building a Mars rover. Hello, my name is Ada, I'm on the science team and my motivation for joining ERC is that I think it's necessary to go to Mars. Uh, this year we're continuing with the metal frame modular approach. Uh, we will have improved aspects uh, such as a bigger frame for the uh, improved equipment that we have this year. We will also have more mechanical um, attachments and also we will have a sturdier connection to the suspension system. For the Morpheus rover, we are using a rocker suspension system. This suspension system is equipped with a torsion bar which is used passively. We also have a turnbuckle joint for adjusting the center of gravity of the rover for better stability and performance. Hi, my name is David Batten and I'm the electrical lead for the Morpheus rover. For this rover we plan to move and steer the rover using eight cube Mars motors. We will have a four wheel drive system with four wheels steering. Um, and this will all be powered based, powered straight from the battery and through our um, integrated safety system. Here we have the overall electrical power bus architecture of Morpheus. There will be four bus voltages of 48 volts, 24 volts, 12 volts and 5 volts. The 48 volt bus is intended for use on the large motors on the board in order to deliver the maximum amount of power while reducing the load on the battery. In keeping with the mechanical design of Morpheus, the electrical design is also very modular. The robotic arm and drill shall be powered from a single 48 volt connection taken straight from the safety system and the distribution will be handled within the external modules. We intend to create our own battery for Morpheus. This will consist of two 24 volt batteries connected in series to create the end voltage of 48 volts. These 24 volt batteries will be constructed in a 6S 4P configuration and the two batteries will be plugged in separately into the onboard safety system for later distribution. So as safety is paramount with the Morpheus team, uh, we have implemented some rigorous safety measures. We have one emergency stop button that will cut all power to all of the major uh, moving components. However, it will leave all of the computers still active for debugging and for um, display of any emergency lights. The indication lights are going to be wrapped all the way around the rover. Um, this will display all of the required colors for the safety indicating and it will also be um, acting as a night light so we can see all around the rover. To finally test Morpheus driving capabilities, we tested the ability of driving forward, 
and backwards, as well as turning left and right. Since this year's Mars location represents an area inside Valles Marineros, we can expect heavy slopes that our rover has to climb. To mimic those capabilities, we tested driving over a route, steep rocks, and finally, stairs. Along with our partners uh, at ANSYS, we have optimized the topology of both the robotic arms and reduced the vibrations while the rover is moving. So, we have made some changes to our robotic arm. Uh, the design changes were mostly based on three different areas, weight reduction, improved design and uh, simplicity of manufacturing. Uh, uh, we have designed the uh, wrist in such a way that the interface is uh, user-friendly uh, so that we can switch out between the grippers just using four screws. For this year's rover of Team Bears, I am currently working on the gripper that we want to use for the construction task and I'm also helping with the maintenance gripper and I'm building a replica of the maintenance panel so that we can train with it before we go to the challenge. A hammer is lifted up by a motor periodically to smash down on this container. Once the container is deep enough in the ground, the construction can be lifted up again and when the construction is hanging, we can measure the weight of the taken samples with a load cell. Regarding my drone, I have developed a drone that is of a 5-inch class. At this point, the drone is completely guided through GNSS guidance, but in the near future, me and my team are working on for a complete internal guidance where the drone shall completely guide on its own using Orco market detections. This equatorial region of Mars features numerous steep slopes as well as landslides, um, and they extend up to over 4,000 kilometers and up to 10 kilometers in depth. We are very grateful for all the support from our sponsors that helped us achieve our goal of participating in the ERC 2024. Moreover, we really want to say thanks to our awesome supervisors, which were always there when help was needed. Well, thank you very much for the interest in our rover project and we hope to see you in Krakow in Poland.